Continuing once again with Pi Game. Today we're going to be creating, uh, playing sounds in our Pi Game. Once again, I always say this uh, with my Pi Game tutorials as of this far. Look back at my previous tutorials because we're adding on to the script and you might be a little lost if you just start here. So, uh, real quick, this is what we've created so far. It's uh, just a window with two tuxes. The background changes from black to red and back again, and the one tux moves across the screen. Hit the uh, X to close the window. Now we'll go in and start editing our code. Uh, so we're importing uh, sys and pi. At this point, we also have to import pi game dot mixer, and this allows us to do audio. Uh, and then here we're going to load an audio file, but we need an audio file first. So I'm just going to grab one from a website. Uh, this uh, website, uh, soundbible.com, has a lot of open source or uh, Creative Commons audio you can use. Um, and uh, I'm just going to grab a sound effect from here. I'm going to grab this large bubble. It's a, just a bubble noise. Large. So uh, in this license, I have to uh, attribute this to the creator. And this says the it's recorded by Snotty Boy. So there you go. Uh, now that that's out of the way, I'll just uh, you can choose to download an MP3 or wave. I'm just going to grab a wave because uh, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Pi Game just handles waves better. I don't even know if it can play MP3s. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just uh, yeah, open this, save. Not exactly. Let's see. I'm going to copy the download link just to make it easy. I'll go back to here. I'm going to quit out of that. I'm just going to wget paste that uh, and see. There we go. So now I've downloaded that wave file to my working folder. It's right here. It's called Force Sounds blah blah blah. Let's rename that real quick. We'll just call it start dot no oh, what am I doing remove move that file to so we're renaming it to start dot wave and if we list again you'll see it right there start dot wave okay let's go back into our code right here and we will now create a sound we'll create a variable called sound. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm calling it sound. And we're going to set that equal to pi game dot mixer dot capital sound and the name of the file, which we called start dot wave. Okay, so we loaded that sound. Let's play that sound. And the way we play sound is we just do the variable sound dot play. There we go. And we will run our code. So when the game starts up, it should play that sound. There we go. Now we can add to that. It plays a sound at startup, but how about this? Every time the color reaches its max, we'll play that sound again. So we just need to add to our loop here when r equals 255 resets r1 but we will sound dot play and we will do the same down here so now plays that twice because it was at zero zero so it's going back and forth as the color changes direction it plays the sound and we could hit the X there to close that. So that is a simple look at adding sound to your Pi game. Hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.